In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the back shell accessory on a MioDAC connector. MioDAC has two spring terminal connectors. These both ship in the kit. They're removable uh, and they're keyed, so they will only go in one direction. Also in the shipping kit, two back shells and two zip ties. So I'm going to move this one out of the way and show you how to connect a back shell to a spring terminal. I've already wired up kind of a cable harness with just some sensor wires in it. Uh, and to connect this to the back shell, first we're going to identify which piece holds the zip tie. And so you can see this one has the zip tie route in it. So I'm going to lace my zip tie with the, the bumpy part of the zip tie on the inside. Go both sides. OK. And now I can route my signal wires through the opening. And this should fit snug. So you'll see that there's, there's no gap there. So you kind of hold it tight, route the wires around that thread, and then we'll, we'll feed the zip tie. Just standard. And what the zip tie is going to do is it's going to take um, a lot of the stress if someone pulls on the cable. And so it's going to pull on the zip tie instead of pulling on the connections of the signal wire. So we'll get that snug. Uh, snip it off. All right. And again, watch out for those threaded posts. Uh, nice little feature. The screws are captive, so they're spring-loaded. So I'll just go ahead and mount the top. And once this is all connected, uh, you've got a custom cable harness. The other end could go to a prototype. It could go to a fixture for a prototype, or it could go to multiple sensors. And so you can, uh, I mentioned these all ship with the kit, but you can buy spares. So you can create separate cables for different kinds of sensors or different prototypes that you've got floating around. And I'm going to plug this into MioDAC. And again, it's keyed, so it only goes one way. And then there's two screws on either side, so I could lock this down here and here. And then I've got a nice captive cable harness uh, that protects the signal connections from anyone touching it, uh, which could be bad for the signals or operator safety. Uh, and then also some nice strain relief there with the zip tie and this hole. And that's how you build a back shell around the MioDAC connector.